Now we'll drop the push rods in on this side and put the rockers on. I'll torque these down and then put the head on the other side. I forgot to mention when you before you put your push rod tubes in, put just a little bit of oil on the seals. That way they can slide in there and find their seat easier. Okay, I got all the washers on and the nuts started. I'm going to straighten these push rod tubes before I continue. Just run the nuts down and snug them. Then I'll do the same torque sequence that I did on the first head. First I'll torque them to 11 pounds. And then to 18, the final torque. Now when you put your rocker shafts on, you should check your rocker geometry. One of the things to check is how the adjusting screw is riding on the valve. You do not want the screw directly dead center on the valve. You always want it a little to the side. This is what rotates the valve when the engine is running. So always check that and you have to make the appropriate adjustments to either add a shim, take out, sand the rocker down a little bit so you get it off center.
then go ahead and torque your rocker nuts. Next thing to do will be adjust the valves. Again, instead of using these gaskets out of that first kit, I used a better kit. It don't save to buy something cheaper. For the difference in price, I don't know why I got that gasket kit, but uh, I'll make sure I don't do it again. So I'm going to get ready to put the oil pump in. Oops. I need oil pump studs. I don't have oil pump studs. Well, I'll have to take care of that. I'll get the oil pump studs out of another block and go ahead and install that. And pick up the build after that.